Hello everybody, my name is Wes and today we'll go over dosage calculation aka MadMath. In this video you will learn a method to get every single dosage calculation right for nursing school and NCLEX. So let's jump into it. The register nurse received an order to give the patient 250 mg of the medication each day. The drug on hand is 500 mg in each tablet. The register nurse should administer. In this problem, we use the method desire over half times quantity. Desire is the dose that the provider ordered to the patient. Half is what you have on hand. And quantity, it can be capsules, tablets, or milliliters. There is a memory trick to remember this formula. Just imagine a duck on a horse quacking. Now let's answer it. First, let's set up our formula with the unit answer, and for this problem is tablet. Now that everything is organized, we're going to start plugging things in. I like to start plugging in the have and the quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem, it would be 500 milligram in each tablet. Now, for desired, you need to plug in the doctor's order, 250 mg. Make sure that both units on top and bottle are the same because they need to cancel out. In this case, milligram. Otherwise, you need to do some conversions. Now that everything is organized, we need to calculate. 250 mg divided by 500 mg times one tablet. Milligram will cancel out and the answer will be 0.5 or half of a tablet. You receive an order to administer 800 mg ibuprofen to your patient PRN every 6 hours. You retrieve the medication which comes in 200 mg per tablet. How many tablets do you administer to your patient? The first step is to set up our formula, desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Duck on a horse quacking. Now add the unit answer, tablets, because the question is asking how many tablets do you administer to your patient. Once you have everything organized, you start plugging in the numbers. First, start with have and quantity, because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem, it's 200 mg per tablet. For desired, you plug in the doctor's order. 800 mg. Do not get distracted with the every 6 hours. It is additional information that's not necessary for answering this question. Since both units on top and bottom are the same, milligrams, we can start calculating it. 800 mg divided by 200 mg times one tablet. Milligrams cancelled out and the answer is 4 tablets. The physician issues a prescription for a drug. Administer 1 mg PO daily, reads the instruction. You receive a bottle with the label 200 microgram per tablet on it. How many tablets will you administer per dose? Set up the formula, desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Duck on a horse quacking. Now add the unit answer, tablets per dose because the question is asking how many tablets will you administer per dose. First, start plugging in the have and the quantity that was given to you. 200 micrograms per one tablet. For desired, you plug in the physician's order, one milligram, but you will notice that the units on top and bottle are different. One is in milligram and the other is in microgram. So first, you need to convert milligrams to micrograms. One milligram times 1,000 is 1,000 microgram because you have 1,000 microgram in one milligram. You are converting from a larger unit, milligram, to a smaller unit, microgram. So you will have a larger number. Now that both units are the same, we can calculate. 1000 microgram divided by 200 microgram times one tablet. Micrograms canceled out and the answer is 5 tablets per dose. 